Yellow, you old son of a bitch. You gotta put me in a little diff ski right now, but uh, we're cleaning the turtles this morning. It's fucking early. It's before 8 a.m. Because this some bitch, the cameraman, works third shift. Mm. But we had these damn snappers sitting in this freaking uh, in this barn for like <laughs> what, like a week and a half, <laughs> right? They've been sitting in here for like a week and a half, so we finally got to freaking come out here and clean them. The reason we had them in here is because if you freaking, I don't know, if you keep them in water for a few more days before you kill them and stuff and change the water and stuff, cleans all the crap out. Once you start cooking them up and shit, they get to taste better. We got four turtles to clean, so let's get to work. I don't know if I'm gonna leave this part in the video or not, but uh, he's already trying to get away. Kind of put him out of their misery at first. Shit! Some bitch is jammed. So, you know. Put him out of their misery first. Banjo looks so cute. Hold on. Let me see. He looks so cute. You cutie pie. So, uh, you know, put him out of their misery first. You'll notice that when you're cutting them up and shit, that, uh, they move all the freaking time. And, um, we just threw the heart out, but we just cut this one up. And the heart will beat for freaking like two or three hours after you cut the whole son bitch up so but they're dead it's just their muscles and fucking oh, turtles are really weird and you'll have that experience when you're freaking when you freaking uh clean the son bitches but it's just how they are so that's just my 22 you guys probably oh, what the tits is that 22 model 60 marlin my favorite my favorite 22 there and uh banjo's learning him something so we about to clean this as turtle we'll try to give you all step by step but uh, we just start sharpened our fillet so last one our knives weren't sharp at all so we got them sharpened this time should be going quicker all right let's do this some bitch what you doing banjo oh what are you doing what are you doing what is that <laughs> all right so uh you can see we severed the head off i wasn't going to show the freaking the entire process of doing that because it's kind of gruesome for youtube but uh the the way you basically do it is make an incision you know grab the head once he's dead and freaking um you know he's going to be moving a lot because of the nerves and shit but mm, <clears throat> grab the freaking pull the head out and then, you know, cut his skin around his neck. You don't want to cut, uh, you know, too far back because they have a lot of neck meat on them. Um, water makes it a lot easier. Yeah, when you fill them with water, it makes them a lot easier. You can fill them with water once they're dead, and uh, it blows up everything. And if you fill them up enough and zip tie it or even step on it, um, the hose in the mouth, you can sometimes blow them off their shell, which we don't want to do because... Usually what will happen is this part of the, the chest plate will break off and uh, and then, you know, it'll freaking, 
it'll freaking uh, it'll blow it off the ship. Oh, dude, he is hard as a rock. Is he? Anyways, best way to do it is when you're taking the head off the, you know, make an incision around that, and then the rest of the way, you take the head, once you got all the meat cut, you twist the, the head off, and it'll just break right off the bone, so, right off the neck bone. Anyways, now we're going to be uh, uh, cutting off the feet, and then we're going to be taking the front and hind quarters off. <laughs> He'll get, his skin will get, yeah, you see that? His skin will get pinched tight. Oh, shit, <laughs> son. All right, so once you uh, got the head off and shit, you just want to freaking cut these claws off. And, uh, ow, son of a tip monkey. That shit hurt. And, uh, gotta be careful, the claws will still freaking get you. And this makes it easier, you cut the claws off because when you're cutting the, you know, the quarters off and shit, when you're skinning them, you'll be able to pull it right off the, uh, uh you're skinning them, it'll come right off this bone here and then, you know. You don't have to claws to deal with, so you gotta cut them off anyways. Then what you do is you uh, always start, I always start with the front. Uh, you get these front cut uh, along the chest plate here and around to the shell. And then uh, same thing over here. And what's gonna happen is uh, once you get it all skinned, you'll skin up the neck too. And then you can frickin', um, uh, the neck will come out. You can cut the neck off. Well, we like to pull the, the quarters, the front quarters out here first. And then, uh, you know, that'll come out as one big piece. That'll come out as one big piece. And then the neck, neck meat will come out as one big piece. And then we'll come to the back here. Come get this, the, the back and the tail will all come out as one big ass piece. So that all this will come out as one. Hey! Looks like he's got a freaking turkey call in his mouth. It looks like a damn turkey call. Is that a hat one? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, Banjo. Banjo, hey, sit. Give me a shake. Give me a shake. Good boy. Can I high five? High five? Good boy. Good boy, Banjo. Mm. Some bitch is only nine weeks old. Can your nine week old puppy do that? I don't think so. Good boy. He's a good boy. Alright, alright, so we're getting some. Footage. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Footage. All right, anyways. Uh, so we got the. What is this? The freaking left leg here. Uh, so once you get the, you know, the feet off and crap, you got to skin down. I don't know if y'all know really how to skin or not, but you just, you know, pull the skin up and then you got to <clears throat> just cut down. Um, just basically cut, you know, the white stuff and then the meat will peel off and crap. But uh, you know. That's basically how she goes here. And then once you, as you'll see here in just a second, the foot will... Mm, don't ever do that. Cut yourself. Uh, the foot will emerge. If you old yuppie some bitches freaking don't like to get your damn hands dirty, then don't freaking... You don't want to be cleaning anything, man. This is the way... You survive. You got to get your damn hands dirty. You son of a bitch. So as you can see, here's the uh, where I cut the foot off at, and you just got to cut right around that son of a bitch to uh, you know pop her out. start to see the blood red of where you cut the foot off and that's when you know you're kind of getting close there. You look down and you just, you know, skin down this freaking part here. Oh, I just cut a little bit of meat off there. Don't want to do that, but you just cut <clears throat> down this way and then you can freaking, you know, that. And then basically just go all the way back to the neck here and then you'll have this neck meat and then we'll do that on this other side too, so. Gotta learn the anatomy.
anatomy of the animal and then you're pretty good. Get all the front skinned off on the neck. And uh, now we're on the back, we do the same thing, just around. Cut all the way up to the butthole here. And, uh, and then we skin it down. And uh, once we get this freaking, you know, the bone is right here, so you'll get that foot out and then the rest of the and the rest of the freaking some bitch will come on up. But basically, you know, you got the meat, which you know, this is the meat. You know, the white shit's a skin, so you just want to cut the meat away from the skin. And, uh... You know, with turtles, it's really a pain just because they're oddly shaped and, you know, they're still moving, even though they're dead and shit, so... But it is the best way to skin a turtle, or the easiest way to make it so easy is, you know, my suggestion is film as you can see the foot's coming out here so um the easiest way is to fill them up like like we did with water and it ex <clears throat> expands their body to where it's a lot easier to freaking you know get their get all the shit off so that's pretty much how she does it there so now you can see the legs out there and uh you know, get this some, some with the uh, turtles. You know, usually with like a deer, you can freaking, you know, rip that fucking skin off. But you know, with reptiles and shit, it's a lot harder to do that shit. So it's a lot of cutting. But uh, yeah, so we'll come back with you. We got this hind leg out. All right, y'all. So we're here with Rebel Ryan. <laughs> you really using that? <laughs> Not a joke. Uh, Rebel Ryan, you know what I'm So he's thinking a nickname for old Ryan here, and uh, I think I'm gonna call him Rebel Ryan. He thinks it's gay as tits, but uh, I don't know about that. I think it's cool. Rebel Ryan, y'all. Rebel Ryan. All right. So what he's doing now? Is, oh, by the way, here, hold up. Put it down. Put it down. So look at the 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 hind legs here. It's just a beauty. Look at all that meat. Lots of meat on a damn yeah. turtle. So, uh, anyways, we got all that some bitch freaking um, done. So now we're gonna do the neck here, and Rebel Ryan's gonna show. You. <laughs> so Ryan's gonna show us here. You can do the neck. All right. Um, under this freaking, <laughs> under this banjo. Ah, no. Damn, I'm trying to eat the guts. Um, <laughs> what are you doing, banjo? So under this freaking, um, this. Uh, chest plate here there's a lot of meat you know it basically gets stuck to this chest plate here so you got to cut underneath the chest plate to release all that meat and crap and uh and stuff and around the shell and get it all loose banjo get out the way you're gonna get cut boy some people like to freaking um break this chest plate off uh, i personally don't hey quit it um as you can see over here on the the other one we just did, um, like to keep them on. Damn, my battery's almost dead. Uh, just because I think they look cooler like that. Um, there is meat underneath on the, uh, the back of the shell. Oh, did you cut yourself? Mm-hmm. You gotta be careful, y'all, oh, so much. Um, there is meat underneath that we'll show you, uh, that you can't get. Um, oh, you son of a bitch. You know, this is an instructional video, and, you, you know, we can't be giving instructions here to, uh, show these mother truckers how to cut themselves. I gotta call this video, How to Cut Yourself. All them emo mother truckers be watching it. Anyways, uh, alright, so, we got the two front legs out. I thought I was recording, and I wasn't. I'm a silly son of a bitch. Just tell me in the comments. Anyways, uh, show them some of that fat. So, there's this orange shit inside here. I don't know if you can see it. This orange shit, that's all nasty-ass fat. You want to make sure when that comes out on the meat, you want to make sure it's off. You don't want to be cooking your fucking meat with that shit on it because it's uh, it won't be tasting too good. Right now, uh, we're taking out the freaking neck here. The neck is got a lot of freaking meat on her that um, uh, should not go to waste. So... You cut that neck out off the bone and shit, and a good way to do it is um, twisting it as well, like you're freaking, you know, but it's, uh, 
when you know just like you did the head and shit but you know it's all slick and shit too you know you just gotta work with work with it and work it out it's nice to have an extra set of hands but i'm holding the camera so you know i can't be much of help right now yeah it's healthy you gonna be a vegetarian no oh, daddy don't raise no gosh dang vegetarians huh so once you get this freaking neck off you can see it's got a lot of meat on it and crap you gotta cut off all the excess bullshit but uh a lot of different cuts yeah there's a you'll see when you cut up a damn turtle there's a lot of different types of meat like it's just like dark meat light meat white meat it's like a whole bunch of shit so anyways you can see the heart here this is the heart and um still beating like we were saying still moving around it'll probably do that for another freaking five or six hours it's pretty crazy how that shit works but uh yeah that's how she goes when you're freaking cleaning the damn turtle all right there's your neck meat head's got some two big real nice chunks of meat um there's a bone as you can see right there in the center so you're gonna cut down the center there or you're gonna cut you know on the, the side of or each side of the bone and then um pull those nice two big chunks of meat out camera's about dead so we'll freaking get those you know i'll once we get, anyways, let me show you. God damn it. What in the tits are you doing? We, are you trying to tell me I shouldn't spit in a bottle? I already know that, boy. You ripped that bottle to shreds now. We only spit in mud jugs around here. Hey, Rebel Ryan. <laughs> Rebel Ryan. All right, we need a nickname for Ryan. What should we call him? You're getting a bath today, buddy. Well, he just wants to help. He just wants to help. Don't you? Don't you? Oh, you just want to help, don't you? It's in the blood. Oh, yeah. Just get all in that turtle blood. Hey! You don't be looking that. You're going to get like Ebola or something. <laughs> so this is the bone in the middle of the freaking head. Uh, you want to come in here, skin the head back, all the way back to, you know... Pretty much you can't go anymore until it's freaking all hard as a rock. You cut down this side of the bone, cut down this side of the bone, and then bring it around and get these big two chunks of meat out. And uh, that's good head meat right there, good head turtle meat. So make sure you do that because you don't want to miss any of that good, good, good ass meat right there. It's good old turtle meat. Snapper head. Snapper head meat. Sna sna snapper turtle meat. Sna turtle snapper meat. Meat snapper turtle. All right, I'm done. Sorry. Apologize for that. And, uh, this oh, excuse you. Uh, <clears throat> uh, so, anyway, she's gonna take. Ow! Gosh dang! Something bit my asshole. Um, so, uh, we got the back out here, and it all comes together like a nice big piece. Um, you can see he's pulling her out now. Is the deck still in there? Oh, yeah. Oh, it is? Ow! Yeah. Pull that son of a bitch out. Okay. See, it looks like a damn tongue. Where the fuck it is. <laughs> um, yeah, hold that son of a bitch up. So, that, all that comes out together, and um, you can freaking... Oh, look at that. Oh. Get sliced down and cut turtle that shit out. Um, so, freaking... We'll cut it off right where that freaking asshole is. Get the meat up to that point. And they cut the rest of the tail off and you'll be good there. Or you just skin up to that point and then you'll be good. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to sit back and get my tan on. Get my nice Kentucky summer tan on, you know what I'm saying? Got to impress the women out here. Uh, cousins are coming back into town in a couple weeks, so got to impress them real good, you know what I'm saying? So, what the tits are you doing? You crazy. You turtle fever? You got turtle fever. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Vern. Turtle breath. What's up, Vern? <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, so, there you go. What, you get something in your mouth? So, uh. Oh! Oh, God, don't put it on me. God damn. <laughs> there is, um, as you can see, you gotta scrape the meat off of, uh, the shell here. You are gonna miss some. So freaking make sure you scrape all that extra excess meat or whatever, you know, uh, to get it out. But in between these little like little spine pieces back here, like in between, 
you can see there's like these little pieces if you break you don't even have to break this off you can um you can get your little uh what do you call them things freaking wire cutter, wire cutter some bitches and cut the bones here and then uh and then you can cut these out piece by piece and they'll come out like as a little nice little back strap type thing so it's all right you know but in my opinion it's not really worth it, it kind of takes a little bit to get out and shit but uh, all right and now here in this old freaking tobacco horse barn we're gonna bring our meat we got a freezer in here and oh you son bitch hit me with this son bitch uh so here is all the meat that we got today this is from two turtles as you can see um there's a lot so you got a lot of freaking meat here um turtles um i don't know i think turtles really freaking good my favorite way to cook ow what the fuck i'm not much of a cooker and shit i usually hand it off to a gosh dang woman and she cooks it up pretty good for me it's usually what i do there so get you a good woman or your old lady or something and uh you know maybe she cook you some gosh dang turtle or something you know what i'm saying anyways that's what we got going for today <laughs> you probably didn't learn shit but figured out film it. Uh we about to uh probably go take a nap. Alright. I wish it see you guys. see y'all later. Keep keep freaking ill, Billy. Sir. Lap it up. It's my lifestyle every day. 25 8 366. Keep freaking ill, Billy. Ain't that right? What is it? Say keep freaking hill Billy. Keep What? Huh? What? I didn't hear you. Oh, keep it freaking hillbilly. What? Keep it freaking hillbilly. Oh, okay. All right. Bye. Well, I just got stung by a bee on my goddamn middle finger. We got a bunch of bullets left in this gosh dang 22 we're just about to piss off all the bees in this field yeah yeah it's time to run for our lives that's for fucking stinging me you silly bitches